So hey everyone, this is me in all natural kind of, you know, makeup just because I have a medical condition so it takes a lot out of me but today I'm here to do what I'm going to be reading in November and I will be doing a book giveaway soon um, because Waterstones kind of messed up a bit so I'll explain all that in a minute. But um, I don't do many of these type of videos because I do like gaming so I upload like a gaming video a day I do a happy colour and then I want to try and do my to be read pile every month a read and wrap up book unhauls book hauls and book reviews for this channel so it's kind of like a gaming channel slash happy colour slash books all the things that I love so I change from the girl with lost memories to the obsidian look um, so it can kind of be open but this is my pile um, for November and on to <laughs> the so I did a pre-order with Waterstones and they sent out even though I ordered one copy they ended up sending two um, so there was kind of a major mess up they didn't put a return label in or anything so the aggravation to send it back and stuff is going to be kind of awkward, um, especially with the medical condition I have where I get so tired really easily um, and worn out. So I thought that maybe in a month or two for Christmas or for January we would do a book giveaway. So I'm going to keep the copy that has a tiny dent in it and then I'm going to give the they're both brand new, they're both in good condition, but one's just got a tiny little dent on it from where I've kept it in the cupboard. So I'm going to keep the second copy they sent me to give away to one of you guys. And the book that I will be giving away in a month or two is Vamps Fresh Blood by Nicole. I can't pronounce her name, but there we go. So it's kind of like a vampire book, um, kind of a dark read kind of one. Um, so it's about an elite academy in the Swish Alps for children of the wealthiest and most powerful vampire families. So if you're a vampire lover, I highly recommend this. Um, so yeah, so you could be in a chance of winning one. So as I say, I'm going to keep one and then I'm going to do um, a giveaway with the other one. Because obviously I don't need two copies and I don't really want two copies. So... Yeah, I thought I'd have my first giveaway on this channel and I'll possibly put it on Instagram as well. Um, so I'm just going to think about how I'm going to do this and like what requirements I want for people to know. But I'll do a separate video just for this so it's not really linked to anything else. Um, and I do believe these are both in second condition. So yeah, I, I was kind of really annoyed that Waterstones did that. But at the same time, somebody else will win a free book brand new good condition they can do what they like with it um it'd be nice if they could keep it and read it and then obviously if they didn't like it they could pass it along to somebody else or um do a book uh, book blind date type of thing but it's just again i don't need two copies but the cover is absolutely stunning though so i do really like the cover but why they sent out two copies when i only put quantity one i will never know Okay, so moving on to November's pile, the first book I'm going to mention is just because I have the second book here as well, which I'm going to review both of them on my channel. The first book that I'm still currently, I'm 218 out of, I think it's like 432 or something like that, is Nemonis, I think by... I'm just going to show you the cover because with my LD I struggle to read certain words so but this is mainly about a project that they're kind of hiding and these two particular characters keep getting killed on their birthday and then they kind of alive and the psychiatrist kind of says that you're kind of dreaming kind of thing when they're not it's generally real and happening so we kind of have that there's a lot of like asteroids involved with the space station so I'm really enjoying it so far and I do recommend it because it says on the back a blockbuster thriller for fans of the Maze Runner and the 100 and I absolutely love the 100 and I have it on DVD I just haven't read the books to the 100 so yeah I kind of like it I kind of like the details so I'm going to do a more depth in review of that one and then the second book to that book is Genesis if I pronounce that right 
by the same author and this will be Project Nemonous <laughs> Nemonous Phrase 2 has begun. So this will carry on from the first book and then we'll find out more. I may just do a combined like book review of book one and book two together which will be a longer review. I, I don't know but yeah as I say if you like kind of mystery thriller, thrillers that's your kind of cup of tea. I highly recommend these two books. If you kind of like space asteroids kind of you know teenagers trying to figure out what's happening with them a mystery type of thing these are your kind of books to do a go to there is a third book in this series it's a trilogy but the library because they were selling this copy for 20p and then i borrowed this one i'm still borrowing it um and then the third book they don't have so i may just get don't really want to buy the physical copy if if I've only if I'm borrowing this one and then I this is an ex library copy that I paid for, um, because then I'm gonna have book two missing and then have book one and three. So I don't know. We'll probably I'll probably just fork out the physical copy because you know eight ninety nine for a book nowadays is not is not a lot. <laughs> Bookworms can do it. So the next book I will mention is the Iron Queen by Judy Kagura. This is the Iron Face series, and this is book, I'm sure this is book three, but I'm just going to double check. One, two, yeah, so this is book three, and this is kind of like a fantasy YA with kind of like fairy tales type of thing, where they kind of, a bit like trippy, like Alice in Wonderland type of thing, where she falls down, not literally down this hole, but she has who was kind of like her best friend and then she's like he's the um kind of fairy of that kingdom so she has to kind of go and sort stuff out kind of thing so i'm not sure what the third book is going to be about but i know in the previous books that her brother was taken and the iron king is megan's father in that world where him and his mum slept together like years ago and then Megan's living in the normal human world but she has to go and rescue her brother so she goes and rescues her brother and gets him back but she's still trying to like sort out things and these are I'm not very good at explaining stuff just because this book I'm not reviewing so I don't really pay too much attention to it but these are the old covers because I believe the new covers have been done so like on the spines of each book you have like the um because like in the last couple of books it's mentioned a particular object um, and it's been really hard to imagine so I've kind of looked at people's Instagrams where I've seen the things and like we've had like a necklace on one like a sword type thing just here on the spine so yeah so I'm kind of looking forward to reading this one but as I say I won't be reviewing it and I don't think um, I'll be keeping keeping this series either so I do have an uncle an unhaul coming soon okay the next one is book seven out of twelve in the vampire uh the house of night novels sorry is burned so we follow what was her name we follow Zoe Redbird who went to the house of night because she started showing symptoms and she was going through the change and she needed to be at the house of night in order to survive then we have Zoe, who's kind of turned into a kind of red blood kind of, you know, type of vampire thing, like a new vampire. So there's a lot of like vampire kind of stuff, stores, where they have to go and like solve all these different things in each book. Again, I won't be reviewing this series, but I'm on, currently when I get to this book, I'll be on book seven out of 12. So yeah, I'm kind of enjoying it but it kind of slowed down a bit but in book uh book six zoe did actually die so i think this is going to be from uh, stevie ray's point of view to bring zoe back and stuff from the dead well not the dead but to bring her back to a vampire so they don't all lose her and again the covers for this series have been redone so my other well my fiance now because i'm engaged got me some his volunteer and he got me some of the hardbacks that they had so I didn't have to borrow so much from the library 
but yeah these are kind of like the old covers the new covers are like really nice as well because they kind of show a bit of the school and stuff but this is the old cover so the next book and the final book that i have for november hopefully i can get all these read is this is a new one that came out and i will be reviewing it on my channel because it sounds really good and this is in hardback and this is we made it all up and the author's name is at the bottom so yeah and the inside i just want to mention like how stunning is the insert you know or the inner page it's not often you see that so this story is about a girl and a boy who write a kind of fictional story of they're making it all up and they want to turn it into reality but spoiler alert a boy ends up kind of dead so yeah that sounded really interesting so celesta thinks that she may have killed this boy but she doesn't remember you know the kill and blow or she doesn't remember the end of the night so it's kind of like a mystery kind of thing to kind of work out who who done it type of thing so yeah i'm really looking forward to it and i can't wait to review it on my channel more in depth so so in total we have four five books for november and hopefully i'll get around to a reading and wrap up to see what i've read and what i haven't i'm not going to put too much pressure on myself but any support and subscribes would mean the world to me just to build up my channel and so i can be encouraged to do more books and as i say if you're here for the books subscribe if you're here for the game subscribe and if you're here for the daily color then subscribe so thank you so much Ooh.